Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how to install tkinter, which is the standard Python GUI library. So this is the library you would use to create these graphical user interfaces with Python. Now I might be pronouncing this wrong. So some people call it kinter, some people call it tkinter, some people just call it tk. So do let me know in the comments if you know the correct definition because I was not able to find it. Anyways, so I'll just show you how to install it. Then I'll demo a very quick and small application just to verify that it's working and sort of get you started with it. Now, this isn't a tutorial on how to use tkinter, only for installation. So this is just for the purpose of installing and getting it set up. In future videos, hopefully, we'll get to talk about how to build these UIs and the different widgets and elements that come with TK. All right, so let's get started. The way you would want to install this is pretty simple. So this is a standard Python library. The way you would do it is simply go to here and just get pip install tk. So then you'd go into your command line and you can do this in any directory. So as long as you have your Python path initialized correctly, you can do this anywhere. So Python should be able to be found anywhere. And now I'm using Windows, obviously, so it might be a bit different if you're on Mac or Linux. Do let me know if you want to see separate tutorials for these. I might try to actually get my hands on a Mac or a Linux and actually do a tutorial. All right. So if I just paste this and pip install tk, now for me, it's going to say requirement already satisfied. This is because I already have it in my site packages. Now, in your case, it's just going to load for a bit and then it's going to install. Now, this warning you see here is simply because I was apparently too lazy to upgrade pip. However, it's not a cause for concern. It's just a way to update pip. So here you can ignore it. And yeah, so that's really how you install TK. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so now we want to kind of verify that our app is working, uh, our library is working, sorry. So let's create a small demo app. So I'm just going to go into VS Code. Now I'm using VS Code. You can use virtually any text editor you like or maybe PyCharm IDE. I don't mind. It's all the same anyways. So it only the only thing you should be careful of is if you installed uh, tkinter in a virtual environment, then you have to activate that environment before running your code because then the library will exist there. So this is just some starter code to get us started. What I do is I import tkinter, then I will create a window object. So this is the variable and it is a tkinter.tk object. So I instantiate this object right here. And then this is the second important command, which is window.main loop. So what does window.main loop do? It sort of runs an infinite loop to keep, to keep our application running and listening for events. And that's really how tkinter works as an interface library. So more on that later in future videos, but you get the gist. It's just a very simple application here. So now I'm just going to run this and you can see I have this very tiny window. It's blank, there's nothing, but I have a window and it's running on this main loop kind of thing and it's resizable. So yeah, that's really our um, small application. Now I can demo this further by including a button. So I'm just going to add this function called hello. So hello will just print hello world. And then I'm going to add this piece of code right here. So I'm just going to walk you through it. So I use tkinter.button to create a button object. Now this will take window. So it belongs to this window guy right here. So obviously a button has to belong to some window. It can't just float in the air. The text on the button will say hello world and the command is hello. So this hello right here will refer to this guy right here, which is a function that will just print out hello world. And then I will pack the button. Now more on pack later, but essentially what it does is it will pack the button into the interface. And you will see what I mean by this when I run it. So here you can see that it has packed it. So it's um, resized the interface to include only the elements. So it packed it kind of like that. So you can see the button hello world right here. If I press on hello world, it will print out hello world in my output. And yeah, so that's really it. It's functioning. You can see that this button, which belongs to window, has the text hello world and has the command hello. So when I press on it, it will call the function hello and will print out hello world. So that's really it for this quick video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you were able to install tkinter. Do let me know if you had any issues. And yeah, that's really it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.